one of my clients called me a couple days ago and wanted to know how to attach documents to her LinkedIn profile. So rather than give her an answer, I thought I'd create a quick little video. LinkedIn gives you the ability to attach graphical content, PDFs, PowerPoints, videos, and even images to your LinkedIn profile. The purpose of attaching that content would be to support and add value to the story that you're telling with the words in your profile. And again, I would be very clear to offer to you that you would only want to attach content that is relevant to who you are and what you do. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. I want to encourage you to use SlideShare to attach content to your LinkedIn profile. And the reason I want you to use SlideShare is A, SlideShare is a LinkedIn property. It's all about uh, images, uh, PowerPoints, videos, uh, PDFs, et cetera, et cetera. So A, it's a LinkedIn property, and B, it's searchable. That content can be found outside of LinkedIn when people are looking for content with the keywords that you would use to put this content in there. So I want to show you how to put content in SlideShare and then how to attach it to your LinkedIn profile. Here we go. So I have a document I've already created. That document is uh, uh, saved on my computer. So I'm going to go to SlideShare. So here I am in SlideShare. I'm, uh, I'm going to log in. And then if, uh, if you haven't already created an account, you can create an account with sign up. But whether you're logging in or sign, signing up, use LinkedIn to connect. Now I already have my LinkedIn open. It's sitting right here. So I can go ahead and log in with LinkedIn. SlideShare is going to connect to my LinkedIn profile. And now I'm logged into SlideShare. I can tell because there's my profile picture. Now, I'm already a SlideShare user. If I go over here to ho hover over my picture and go to my uploads, you can see, see the content I've already uploaded to SlideShare. But I'm going to upload a new one. It's very easy. I'm going to hit the Upload button. Select the files to upload. I'm going to go to the folder that contains the document. There's the document right there. So it's going to upload the folder. Now I'm going to clean the title up. I'm going to put a description in there and I'm going to use keywords because keywords are important because again, this is searchable. I'm going to choose the appropriate category. I'm a, uh, it's all, I'm a public speaker, so I'm going to choose that. I want it to be public. I do not want it to be hidden. Everything I do on social media is 100% public. I'm going to put in the proper keywords. And you can see by filling this out uh, a little bit more deliberately with more content, now my discoverability score has gone all the way to the top, and that's important to me. I want this content to be discovered, and I'm going to hit publish. It's that easy. I've now published my professional bio. Note this, I put an image and a large text heading on top of my bio. The bio is nothing more than this text here, but for pre presenting and for discoverability, I wanted, I wanted to use this image and that large text headline. That doesn't look well in a, uh, when, when I look at, if I just go back to my uploads, that's going to look way better than just that text that's down below. So here it is here. I can view it. There's my uh, TL Burris, Teddy Burris bio. I'm just going to copy that URL. Once I put it in SlideShare, I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to go back to LinkedIn. Now I can attach that content to my profile. So here I am in my profile. There's two places I can attach content. I can attach content right here, this icon right here. I can attach uh, a video, an image, a document, a presentation, a PowerPoint, a PDF, any kind of file that is um, that's on my computer or in SlideShare, I can attach it right there. If I go to hit that right there, it's going to say, you know, give me the URL or upload a file. I'm going to use the URL. So I'm going to do the Control V and I'm going to hit Continue. And there it is right there, and, and there's the title, and there's the description I typed, and I'm going to add, hit Add to Profile, and there's that content. Now if I go View My Profile like a regular user would view it, and I scroll down to that content, see more, and then there it is. And if I click on it, it's going to bring up the information I put up top here, and it's going to show me that information, that, that um, um, PDF that I created.
Now, one more thing, if I show you, if I go back to edit mode, so in edit mode, I can scroll down here to my experience section and the same thing applies here. I can, there's the icon, it's exactly the same icon. I can put in the same URL, I can hit continue. It's gonna show me the document, show me the title and the description that I wrote. I can edit this any way I want and I can hit add to profile. And there's the document I added to the bottom of my current position. Bottom line is what I want to show you by doing this is that you can attach graphical content, PowerPoints, videos, PDFs, Word documents, uh, graphics, uh, whether JPEGs or PNGs, any kind, of, any kind of graphical content you can attach to your LinkedIn profile. Why do you want to do that? You want to attach content that supports or, and, and is relevant to who you are and what you do so that others can find this information, again, to validate who you are and what you do. I'm Teddy Burris, LinkedIn coach and trainer. I'm all about helping people master LinkedIn. I hope that was helpful.